All right, so let's keep going on this new painting. I don't know how it's going to turn out. As usual, it's something brand new. I've never tried to do before. I have an idea in my head. Hopefully it'll turn out something like that. <laughs> it might, and it might not. Never know. All right. So we have a black canvas. It's got three coats of black gesso on it. And there's some parts on here that you can't see. It's taped. So let's start with, which we'll get to the tape, tape part. Kind of a cosmic scene here. We'll just make a little bit of clear medium here. A one inch brush. see this tape where I've got it taped. for the paper towels. I think I'll grab me a drink out of the fridge. Alright. Now, I'm going to use a few transparent paints on this just to get it going. Before we do that though, let's wipe some of this liquid clear back. Can't ever wipe all of it off. We don't need. It's always good to just kind of wipe it back a little bit. Otherwise, it'll make your canvas so slick that your uh, paint will just slide right off the canvas. So, all right, that's good enough. Okay. All right. Let's start off with a couple of background colors. Mm, I think I would like to work in some, maybe in some, let's put a little bit of lizard and crimson up here. Not much. We'll put some up here. We've got some paint still on the palette. It's been sitting here for a week while I was gone. So, some of that up but we'll put just a little bit of cat orange up there I don't think I'll need too much of that let's get some Indian yellow and let's get now we'll start working in some blues which also well, you know what? We can actually put some greens up there too, maybe. Let's see. Let's get. Um, let's just set green. So we'll put, a, put a bead of sap green down. Uh, 
I don't know why I felt compelled to use so much plastic on that, but I'll fix that later. Maybe we'll also put a little, I don't know if I'm going to use all these colors or not. Now that I think about it, I don't really have all that much footprint. A little phthalo green. And maybe, just for the heck of it, let's put a little bit of phthalo blue. Where's that? Here it is. Now this phthalo blue is made by Grumbacher Academy. And I, I used it in my last painting. And I, I, I couldn't tell if it was really the paint or the gesso. But it, it really was a lot darker than I expected it to be. So I guess we'll see this time. There we go. Alright. Let's get a little bit of paint off my fingers. I'm going to start adding these colors. Okay, so this is going to be a, uh, a star scene, a binary star system. I've not tried to do one of those before, and I'm going to have a larger star up in this quarter, up in this panel. And then I'm going to have a smaller star here. This smaller star is going to be eating this larger star. So let's, uh, let's, let's do some of it. Let's start off with, let's start off with Indian Yellow. And we'll kind of kind of put it up this way, I guess. Now on on this black, if you can see this at all, it's probably going to look a little bit green. That's okay. Alright, let's throw some thalo blue up here, maybe on this panel, this panel. And we'll throw some sailor green up there to go with it. These are all, all these colors are transparent. Alright. And maybe some sap green this way. I'm going to clean the brush, and then I'm going to come back and start picking up some Lizard and Crimson. So let's, let's kind of wipe the paint out of this. Alright, now I'm going to bring that Thalo Blue in. So this star is going to be kind of a yellowish, reddish, orange. It would be nice to have that blue up in there. Alright. A little more yellow in here. Alright, let's clean that. Now, we've laid the base colors down. But we don't really want them to stay where they are. So, we want to spread them out, blend them out, make a really intermixed or admixed um, colors. You know, like space would be. Or like we see a lot of pictures of space would be. Alright, so we're going to put some titanium white down now. Now, titanium white, unlike these other colors, is opaque. So, it's going to trigger these colors to come out. It's going to trigger these colors to come out. But we're going to do this in a pretty easy, well, I don't know if we're easy is the right word, in a not very structured manner. So let's start up here. We've got a fan brush, and it's loaded. That one corner is not too loaded, but it's okay. It'll be all right. And let's just kind of Throw it up in here. All 
right. We're going to clean the brush. We're going to do a lot of brush cleaning. That's just part of this technique, I guess. All right, more white. Brush got away. Let's clean it again. Adjust this corner just a little bit. This corner right here. Add some lizard crimson in here. Clean the brush. Gotta get it started. So I got a little bit of a new arrangement on my paintbrushes. We're gonna see how that works out for us, but all right, let's start blending this baby. Mm, I'm to figure out which one of these brushes. Ah, this is it. So now the same, the same sort. Of, I don't know. Rule is not the right word. Same technique is going to kind of apply here. We're going to kind of use a swirl. And we'll keep cleaning the brush as we go when we need to. So you'll notice we're not going when we get over in this light part, as we come out of there, we're not gonna go back ever go back into that part with this dirty brush. So So we'll take these blues and greens into account here. And we're staying out of those lighter colors. You can see we're picking up quite a bit of paint on this brush. That's good because we're just kind of we're gonna leave some of these dark areas in here, but we might even go back later and add some more dark areas. But we'll see, we'll see how that we'll see how it looks. Out. All right, let's clean this brush. 
Let's get that dark residue out. And we'll clean the brush. Now, I'm going to go up here and address this, this reddish purplish color first. I'm going to kind of pull this down into the purple somewhat. But you can see immediately that we've picked up more blue. So we're going to have to clean the brush again. And then we'll have to go back and address that corner again. This time, however, we're going to take some red with us when we go. Just because I want to kind of create that little bit of mist on the corner. So that'll give us a little bit of a vignette on that side. looking pretty good. All right, let's go into this let's go into this bright spot. Focus right on that star. And we're going to paint over this paint, some of this paint. And I'll be okay. All right. That looks pretty good. All right, now. I'm going to put some stars sky. So let's do that next. Let's clean this brush out. All right, let's get some uh, liquid white. All right. I'm going to stir this may not need stirring, but I'm going to stir it anyway. Yeah, we're getting close to Christmas. The liquid white's starting to run low. That's okay. I got another can. <laughs> From last Christmas. Might even be a bigger can than that. I don't know. Alright. So let's get another fan brush up here. I'm going to use one of these new shorty ones. Now, I'm going to wipe most of, well, it's going to be fairly loaded, but we're not going to have a lot of excess laying on the top because we don't want too much of that. Let's kind of flick these stars out there. Now, when you're flicking stars, it's always a good idea to Add some color to some of those stars. I don't know if you guys can see that really well on the thing. Probably not. But it's always good to throw a little bit of color in. Most of those stars that come around the middle are not going to show up. So cause we're going to paint over them. All right, and let's clean this brush because now over here, I actually want to take some of the color out that I put in. To remove it from the painting, I'm just going to not add any more of that color. I'm going to add a little bit of white and a little bit of blue for this area. up in the ferrule and it's just eh, you know sometimes they're just contrary like that <laughs> all right there we go let's get it okay 
Okay, so we haven't been in too big of a rush. Seems to be working out for us pretty good. Now, I got some. Get my fingers cleaned up. Clean up my fingers so I can put paint back on. All right, let's put the liquid white away. Won't be needing any more of that, I don't think. We'll see, I guess. We're going to take a little bit of this blue and white, and we're just going to put a. Let's go right here. And put a star up there. A big star, a bigger star. Okay. Now we'll kind of just smooth that. Just blend that. We may brighten that a little bit more before we're done. Actually, I think I'll just go ahead and do that now. All that blue picking up in the water. I mean, the cleaner. That's good. That's exactly that. All right. Now. Take a look at this real quick. All right. Let's start working on these stars. So now we want to pull, take the tape off. Now be careful when you're doing this that you don't punch a hole through your canvas. I mean, it's not really easy to do, but it's not hard to do either. Just gotta be careful. Just gotta be a little bit careful. I'll be cussing myself when I get ready to empty out my. Um, trash can and I can't get the tape out because it's stuck in the bottom. <laughs> okay. So again, when I get done, I'll have to get the paint off my fingers. That's okay. Now, the canvas that's under this tape does not have medium on it. Now, so it's really up to you if you want to add medium to it, which if you do, it'll help you blend easier, but there's always a but, right? But gotta be careful that you don't put so much on that it runs at all, because then it'll run down onto your painting and mess up painting, mess up your painting. Now you can also be a little more careful than I was and not paint on the tape. If you want to try to do that. Now, the reason that I don't do that is I, I'm, I'm looking for continuity around this. I want I want all the paint. Uh, you, you could end up with a halo 
where there's no paint around this the objects it doesn't matter if it's a barn or a star but if you don't paint right up to the edge then you get like a, a star I like a star you get like a halo effect around it and that might not be desirable all right now I've got a little bit of a blip right there on the thing I'm trying to decide what I want to do with that if I want to paint over it or what tell you what let's just take this and just blend it those few strokes all right that's good all right take care of that problem this star up here I'm gonna make some paint for it so we're gonna make some orange and yellow so we got the opaqueness of the orange now we may add some more yellow to this before we're done but I'm not gonna by the way I'm not gonna add medium I'm just gonna paint this straight out so Wish me luck. I may have to put a second coat on this. As you can see, it's not not blending, and that's okay. I can let this I can either paint on top of it which I might do or while it's wet or I can let it dry and then paint on top of it now another thing you could do you could leave this portion of the canvas white by taping over it first before you add gesso and do it that way that's another that's another way to do it I could do this with a flat edge instead of a a uh, so I'm going to add a little bit of Naples yellow to this I think and see what effect it might have on it. Naples is a little bit to the orange side. I mean it's not it's not real orange, but it, you'll be able to see it's not it's not exactly like super bright yellow either. I'm gonna set that there because I'm gonna use some more of that. So this paint is a Grumbacher paint. It's relatively thick. So we'll see how it how it does going on. That's kind of okay. So we're painting a, a Actually, a thicker paint over a thinner paint at this point. Now we're going to paint a big flare coming out off of this. Before we get done, it's going to like come out this way and wrap around that star. I may have to let this dry before I can do that, but I don't know. We'll see. I kind of like that actually. So let's put a little bit more orange over here. I don't want this star to be all one color before it's done. I want it to be kind of pulsating. kind of weird if you want to, I don't know, or, or, or surprising I guess not really weird surprising is how bright this how yellow this yellow looks against this orange when on the palette it doesn't look like that at all I 
I'm gonna just do that and I'll blend it. That gives me the idea though. Because this star is spinning, the other star is spinning too, but it wouldn't make sense to have the lines running vertically when the star is spinning, spinning around horizontally. I think I got a piece of tape, tape still on here. Let's see. Yep. the edge. Alright, continuing on. white all the way into that color. Just to brighten this star a little bit. Oh, didn't get that stroke right. Here we go, that's better. those same colors but I don't think I will let's use I'll tell you let's use a little bit of that color but let's also bring up some well, let's end in yellow that's not what I'm looking for let's use some of this pale yellow hue to go with it I think you'll be able to see the difference of this pretty quick I don't know it depends how I, how I layer it I guess All right, so we're going to start off with the same base color to start with. What is that? Something on the car. Something on the canvas.
I'm just doing this for edging, for edging purposes. It's just the stroke is easier for me to make this direction. Rotator cuff's getting better, but it's not completely healed. May never completely heal, they said. But we'll see. I can think a little more positively than that. So, all right. Yeah. Now this star is going to be pulled be pulled a little bit out of around because it's. We'll see why in a second. Okay. And like I say, I may have to let this dry. Dry. But I don't know. Let's see. Where's my. Do I still have that paint eraser around? If I have my paint eraser around, I might can work this in. Let's see. Let's figure it out. So basically, what I'm doing here, I'm just scraping the paint off back off the canvas using this little eraser. You can do this with a pencil eraser. If that's all you have. This is a William Bickford deluxe paint eraser. I don't know if it's a deluxe paint eraser. I just I just say that. This will all be done in yellows and white. Yeah, yellows and whites. Maybe some orange. Maybe some a little bit of red. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, now that's good enough. Let's take this. Get it around my finger, nice and sharp. Kind of swipe it down. You can do this with a shop towel if you want. I'm just trying to lift the paint that I'm, I don't have to paint over. So, you know, you do it however, however you want to do it. Whatever your world says you can do, you do it that way. the first part of this laid down then we'll let it dry I 
think, and then we can highlight it. I'm going to try, I don't know how that'll work, I'm going to try to lay this down while it's wet. We'll see if it, we'll try it, we'll see. Let's try it with just white first. No, that's not going to, it's just going to blend. This is liquid white. But I'm not going to be able to, I can probably do that part, but I'm not going to be able to put in all of the gas anomalies and stuff I want to put in here. So I'm going to put, we'll put a little bit of this in and then we'll just let it dry. No sense in rushing it. Let it dry. I'm not going to push it. There's a part of me that wants to push it, but I'm not going to push it. There's part of me that wants to push it so I can get done, but it, it's it's come along pretty good. So let's just it'll be dry probably tomorrow, as long as I don't stick any more liquid white on it. The clear medium will dry quickly, and that'll pull some of the uh, moisture out of the other stuff too so and I think though let me do it I got a little bit of a touch here I have to do let's get this this has to go all the way out and around like that yeah like that okay now let's let it dry Now, there are a few things we can do, though, still. Let's take a small fan brush. Yeah, okay, there's none of that left. So I'm just going to take a little bit of ivory black. Just a touch of ivory black. On this fan brush. And I haven't really coated the whole fan brush, as you can see, just a little bit. And I just want to kind of... Put a few sunspots on here. And maybe... Maybe even a bigger one, like... Good enough. All right. Well, uh, you guys see this video will be cut together in two parts, in this one part, so you don't have to wait. So it'll be like a little ticking clock, probably, and then the second part, so you don't have to wait. But in the meanwhile, I'll have to wait. So I'll see you guys in the next part.